Hello, my name is Taharga, and today's video is about how to get Microsoft Office for free. That's going to be for all platforms, so Windows, Mac, or Linux. Uh, we'll actually be exploring two different ways on how to get Microsoft Office. Uh, but within there, there'll be uh, access to uh, all the popular programs you're familiar with, so Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. So we'll start by going to Google Chrome, there at the bottom. And we can go to office.com. So once we're there, this is the home screen for office.com. You can see uh, there, there's a, a sign in button as well as get office. And it shows also at the bottom, there's a sign up for, for the free version uh, of office. That's actually what we're going to be doing. Uh, but what we'll do here first is we'll click on the sign in button in orange there. And this takes us to the sign-in screen. So if you have a Microsoft account, uh, a Skype account, uh, or a number of different accounts uh, that might be compatible, Xbox accounts, you can go ahead and sign in there. If you click down at the bottom, you'll see some other sign-in options for uh, two-factor authentication or to sign in uh, with your GitHub account. But what we'll do is we'll go back here, and you'll see also the option to create a new account if you don't have one at all. So this is what it looks like to create a new account here. We'll actually go back as I already have an account, so we'll use the sign in option. So I'll put in my email address here and then go and click next. Now we'll ask for your password. So I'll type in the password there. And now we're going to be ready in just a moment here to click sign in. So I won't have it save my details for this demo here, but I will have it keep me signed in so we'll proceed forward and here we are at the office.com homepage so this is the first way to get office for free uh, through the web-based version so you'll see on the left hand side there uh, some popular programs uh, word excel powerpoint and down in the lower left we'll click on all apps and you'll now be able to see all of the different programs that are available to you here so uh, there are some tips there at the bottom as well uh, but again, you'll also see Microsoft Teams and Outlook um, and a number of different popular Microsoft programs. On the left side, we'll also click Create. So if you click Create, uh, it'll give you uh, some popular ways to, to start uh, different kinds of projects, as well as templates down here uh, at the bottom to start from. So you don't have to start from scratch, but we will start from scratch and click on the Word document there in the top left. And when that opens up, We'll see Word uh, as we know it uh, to be, but what we want to do is we'll open up that ribbon, and now you'll see the familiar ribbon that you're used to seeing on the desktop version uh, of Microsoft Word over the years. So we'll click through the tabs, and you can see that all of the popular customization options uh, and formatting options that you need uh, will be there at the top. So let's prove it really works. So we'll click and type hello there. And we'll highlight it and add some different styling. So again, anything you would normally do in Word, you can do uh, here. Um, there are some limited features in the web-based version, uh, but we'll show you uh, a different way to do that in a second. So if you click up at the top there, the document name, uh, we can go ahead and save this. So we'll give it a name there at the top, and you can see that it's saving to OneDrive, which is the online cloud storage that you get by creating a new account um, or having a free account with Microsoft, that is. So you'll see, again, we were able to use Word here uh, completely for free if you already had a Microsoft account or uh, created one. So we'll go back and we'll go all the way back to the Microsoft homepage here. Uh, and from this homepage, uh, there's a number of things uh, that will happen. So uh, in this first section here, um, it would show um, your recent documents uh, that you've been using, uh, but you can also see uh, anything that you might have pinned uh, as well as any documents or presentations and such uh, that would have been shared with you uh, as well. So let's say you have a document on your computer that you would like to use in this uh, online version, this free version of uh, Office. You can click the Upload button there uh, and then choose a file uh, uh, from your local system to start working on uh, in one of those Office applications. So whether it be a spreadsheet or a document or a PowerPoint presentation, uh, you can go ahead and upload that and start using it. So let's open OneDrive here in another tab so you can see what that cloud storage looks like. Uh, so I have a number of files already in there, 
Uh, but what you'll see is there in OneDrive where we saved it uh, is that new file that we were just working on in Word. But you'll also see on the left, you can see uh, recent documents or things that were shared with you uh, as well uh, directly for within your OneDrive uh, online location. So this was the first way to use Office for free. But if you'll see on the top right there, uh, the Install Office button, uh, so that will let you download uh, the local version of Office. But you see it says Get Premium, so that's talking about a paid version. And when we click on Buy Microsoft 365, that also takes us to a number of paid options. But this video is about free options for getting Microsoft Office. So what we'll do is we'll go back. Uh, and before we get into the second way uh, of using Office, we'll just close out here by saying, the first way is through uh, the Microsoft Office uh, web application or the online version. Uh, but in a moment here, we'll go to my desktop uh, here on my Windows 11 computer, and then we'll show you how to get it uh, a second way for anybody who's using Windows. OK, we are on the desktop of my Windows 11 machine. Uh, so we've gone over the first way of how to get Microsoft Office for all platforms, Windows, Mac, or Linux. But if you're on Windows, if you go down to the search icon in the lower left of your desktop you and type in office you'll see something called the office app so if we click on that there you'll see welcome to office on the web so what we want to do next is click on sign in down at the bottom and when we do so you'll see a number of options for how to sign in we want to click microsoft account as we are going to use the same account that we were just using uh, in step one so when that opens up, we'll see the familiar sign-in option as well as some of the other sign-in options there at the bottom. But let's go ahead and type in that same email address or username as, you, as it would be uh, here. Click Next, and then we're going to enter in the password. Again, this is going to be the same username and email uh, and password that you just used in the first step. letting us know uh, that we're logging in uh, and it's connected to us the other places where we are logged in and when that opens up for us let's open it all the way up you'll see welcome to office so we'll click through some of these entry screens here just letting us know how the product works uh, as I am recording uh, the first time using this particular application uh, on this particular computer so we'll continue clicking through some of the uh, startup screens here. Um, but what we'll see is the familiar interface uh, that we're used to, so the home screen uh, of Office. Uh, in this particular case, we see that there's a number of different files we did not see before uh, in my recents. Uh, and we can scroll through and go to pinned um, or other documents that are shared with me. But what you're actually seeing uh, there is, in addition to those OneDrive documents, which we're, we'll go to here in just a moment, we're actually seeing files that are on my local system. So let's fully set this functionality up. So what we're going to do is this is going to allow us to connect OneDrive to a particular folder on, on our system uh, so we can do some syncing between the two. So we'll use that same username uh, and password or same email and password uh, to log into this uh, additional OneDrive functionality. And click through there. It was just uh, displaying the folder name and location where this is going to be set up and I don't want anything backed up at this particular moment so I'll uncheck those and, and click to move forward since we know how a lot of this stuff works and um, we're trying to use the free version for sure we'll close that all of that kind of stuff out uh, and we'll continue to close this window as well so we'll go back to the home screen here so let's get a closer look at what just happened with OneDrive I'll move that over from the other screen. And you'll see, in addition to all of the files that we saw in the cloud-based version uh, of OneDrive, we're seeing some local files uh, from my system. So a few um, Word documents and PowerPoint presentations and such uh, that are saved uh, here locally uh, on my machine. Uh, and that's one of the biggest benefits of using uh, this Office app uh, for those people who are on Windows. Uh, you can see both OneDrive uh, cloud locations uh, and your local uh, locations. So back on the home screen, we'll go through all apps here. Uh, and again, the same kind of functionality that we had 
uh, in the first version uh, earlier in the video, uh, we have those same functionalities. So we'll click through and go to Word. Close out of some of those prompts here. And we're fully back into the experience uh, we would be looking for to, to use Word. So we have the full ribbon across the top. We have uh, the document page there in the center. And we can start creating uh, any document of our choosing or open a document uh, that's existing for us. So let's open that ribbon all the way up just so we can see it uh, there. Again, the same kind of save options uh, that you might uh, expect. Clicking through to OneDrive. And again, that's where those documents would live for us. As our default location, of course. Uh, as Microsoft, of course, does want you to use uh, OneDrive uh, wherever possible. Uh, and that's why they make it so easy to sync back and forth between the systems uh, or the, the cloud system and uh, the local system as we just configured. So on the top left there, just an alternate way to view all apps. So if you click the honeycomb pattern there or the grid pattern, um, you'll see there's another way to view uh, all of the different applications that are available to you uh, in this free version of Office. OK, so that concludes our video. Uh, we've gone through two different ways of how to get Microsoft Office for free. Uh, the first way to get Office for free uh, worked on all platforms, so whether it be Windows, Mac, or Linux. Uh, and then the second way that we went through uh, was for the folks who are on Windows uh, and showed how to use the Office app uh, that's installed locally on your machine uh, to get Microsoft Office for free uh, as well and use all of those popular apps um, that we demonstrated and showed, uh, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Teams, Outlook, etc. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope to make more videos like this in the future uh, and have a great day.